For gardeners and farmers, spring planting season is right around the corner, but cooler temperatures could still hurt some crops. News 3's Maya Skinner went to Flam Orchards to find out how to protect your produce. Mike Flam is ready for his strawberries to grow. Right now, the way the weather looks, um, we're keeping them covered because that does help them advance a little bit. This will be the cap on the strawberry. The cold air creates potential to damage crops. Flam says if you're planning to grow anything from seed, you should wait a little longer. If you want to plant things in your garden or to stay with your cold crops, your cabbage, your broccoli, your cauliflower, and they'll take pretty cold temperatures. If you're already growing plants or produce, Flam says keep them protected. Most people could just cover them with a blanket or a bucket or something to keep the frost off. That's your peach. Including your fruit trees. There's not a whole lot you can do. Uh, I mean, if you got one tree, you might be able to go out and cover it up with a with a sheet or a blanket, but uh, you, there's not a whole lot you can do if it's going to get real cold. News 3's meteorologists forecast milder temperatures this week, but one last freeze before spring is possible. Flam is hopeful the weather won't be too bad. We're moving ahead full steam. The forecast that we've got now doesn't show anything below freezing for the next 10 days, and that's got us up you know, past the first part of March, so we're just going to be hopeful that we don't see any real cold temperatures. In Union County, Maya Skinner, News 3. If you are looking to plant, keep an eye on the News 3 weather team's forecasts for the next few weeks to make sure that we're done with that cold weather overnight. You can also download our StormTrack 3 weather app for updates on your smartphone.